I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and here today with me is Alex Christopher, President of PDAC. Thank you so much for joining me online today to talk about the upcoming convention. It's great to see you. Thanks, Charlotte. Great to see you too, and uh, really, really excited here to be talking to you about uh, PDAC 2022, and that's going to be back in live in person again in uh, Toronto from June 13th to 15th. Um, and then we also have an online component of that from June 28th to 29th. So it's a great chance, a great opportunity for people from all sectors just to come down to the convention center and see the true breadth of the industry um, and the diversity and the, the high tech nature of the industry. Um, so so we encourage everyone to come down. Um, everyone's welcome. Great. Yeah, I'm really excited as well. Very, very good to be getting back to in-person events, but do appreciate the online component as well. I think it's great that you're keeping that. Before we get into all the details that everybody should know about the convention, I wondered if you could give me your sense of the current state of the resource market. How are we looking heading into the event? That's a great, great question. I think in the industry, you know, through the pandemic, the industry shows a really good resili resiliency through, through that pandemic. It's I think it's positioned to take really good advantage of the strong commodity market here, um, as well as all the gov those government driven stimulus that, that um, so as we look past the pandemic, I think there's a lot of upside here for the industry. People want to get back to doing um, business in person and for, for min mineral exploration development that really means participating in person at PDAC 2022 convention. Great. And so as we've been talking about, we've got the in-person event that's happening first, and then there's the online component later in June. I wondered if we could talk about the challenges of returning to an in-person event after COVID and also the opportunities that you see with, you know, keeping an online component so that people can join without showing up in person. Sure. I think first off, I want to say that no matter whether it's online or in person, I mean, the, the PDAC puts together an incredible lineup here of events, whether those are investment opportunities, programming, short courses, um, network events, there's something for everyone. And it's really relevant to what's happening in the industry um, and, and globally. So, so no matter what format, I mean, that's a, the goal of the organization to do that. I think for 2022, and, and you'll see, we moved our convention dates from March to June. And that was really driven by some of the um, uh, ongoing public health restrictions in Ontario that made planning for the March event a little a little challenging when we had um, some uncertainty with respect to when some of those restrictions are going to be lifted. So I think the move to the June date was a good choice. It's going to allow us to do per business in person. Um, and I think it's going to allow us to deliver a, a, a basically a program to our, um, to our constituents here that um, will basically give them the best, um, best of both worlds here and the best of the live convention and chance to, to come back and see people in person, as well as online for folks who can't um, attend in in person. Yeah, and let's talk a little bit more about the programming. I'm always excited to, you know, when you were able to check the schedule and see what's coming up. I wondered if you could talk a little bit about some of the themes that will be highlighted at PDAC and maybe some of the commodities that you think may come to the fore. Okay, well, I mean, first off, I think for PDAC, and it doesn't matter what year it is, there's a topic for everybody. Right. So first of all, I encourage people to plan out their week to get the most out of their time. So whether they're going to be focused on our sustainability programs, on the investors exchange, whether it's technology innovation, the trade show, technical insider, just looking to catch up with their associates um, after that two year lockdown here, there, there is something for everyone. Um, some of the key topics that we start to want to think about is are the mineral, the metals and minerals here that are required to transition to a low carbon future. So that's really a, a for, forefront here. I think some of those metals here, whether it's copper or, or nickel or battery, other battery elements, they're, they're, they're key. Um, you know, a lot of focus on sustainability, equity, diversity, and inclusion. Um, and I think that, um, you know, one of the things that we've, we've missed here the last couple of years is really um, the ability for the youth of the industry to come in and see what we're doing. So that, that, that um, attraction of youth and the, and the participation of the students is a really important thing as is the participation of, of our, our Indigenous communities in, in the live forum. So those are all, all um, great things to look forward for, and all of them can be found at PDAC 2022. Perfect. And I know, as you said, there is something for any everybody. It's very diverse for, for the programming. Are there any events that you would pick out that you would say, this is something that you really can't miss when you're, you're coming here? Oh, this is, this is, this is a really, really, um, really interesting one because I mean, everybody comes with a different different hat on and a different mindset. I mean, I coming from an exploration background, I always love to see the new discoveries of forums so that you can see what's happening and what people are are, are discovering around the world. And those really give you 
uh, a view towards, um, you know, still the upside of the business. Um, uh, so I think that's something for me personally, I'd love to attend. Uh, but I think, you know, for, for, for the folks in general, I encourage them to, to, to certainly to hit the various components, the sustainability area, um, the investors exchange, a great chance to see, um, see what's out there. And then the trade show, and there's lots of good technology innovation in that trade show and, and seeing what the, the service providers can, can provide to folks. So I think all three of those uh, things are, are key. Perfect. And one thing that I always like to ask when we do these, you know, free convention interviews is if you have any tricks or tips for people who want to maximize their time, because as we've been discussing, it is, it's a packed schedule. It can be easy to miss things. So what are your, what's your best advice for people who are attending? Yeah. You know, I, I remember taking my kids to, 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 to Disney World when they were young and thinking about how we planned out the day there. Um, and so, you know, generally, particularly if you're coming with a group of people, I'm sitting down and ensuring that you've planned out your, your week, you know what you want people to go to, you know who you want to see, and you, you, you fit, fix that into your schedule. I think it's really important uh, because there is so much that's going on that you can easily miss, um, uh, whether it's a forum or, or, or an opportunity to, to listen to one of your, your peer, peers speaking. So um, just the planning and, and, and um, getting out there, getting out there early, um, on the floor early, and um, ensuring you make the most of the time. Right, and just so people are aware, so we have the in-person event first and the online component is second. Will it feature things at, that, were, that happened at the in-person event? So if you miss something, would you be able to catch it online later? Is that how it works? Yeah, there's a fair bit of content that, that uh, will, be, will be available in the online event that, that comes from the in-person event. So that's a, a good opportunity to, to be able to either revisit speak talks or, or, or presentations you've seen or to, to, to um, basically double dip. And, and um, I think that is one of the benefits of the online component is that you can watch things at your leisure. Yes, absolutely. It is kind of like you said, you know, the Disneyland of, of mining almost. That's, that's really everything that I have for you today. But I wondered if there is anything else that you would want to mention about PDAC coming up, things that we should know before we attend. Well, I think, I think for, for me, I think this is a great time to be in the industry. There's a really good, strong demand for commodities. Um, and, and particularly as we work to transition to this lower carbon world, I think we have an opportunity to continue to raise the bar with respect to the industry's performance. Great opportunity here to develop partnerships that are going to deliver into the expectations of all, all stakeholders here. And so there's a lot of folks there to, that you can meet with at the convention. And then, as I, as I mentioned earlier, technology innovation, I mean, those opportunities abound, and and when you start, when I start thinking about the cutting edge science that the, the technology innovation drive, um, that's going to lead to new discoveries and new improved ways of doing business. I think that it's a great forum to 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 see that uh, live and in person. Great. Well, I'm I'm certainly looking forward to it, and thank you so much for coming to give us a little bit of a preview of what's going to be happening next month. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Once again, I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and this is Alex Christopher of PDAC.